Yeah, how important was the off week for you to kind of reset and get ready for this? Yeah, it's huge. I think anytime you got a uh, got an off week after eight games and get ready for the last four, you know, you know, team wise, you know, you get to uh, relax a little bit, recover a little bit, and uh, you know, really, really start focusing on finishing out this thing the right way. What did you focus on the most here? Anything you learned? You said earlier anything you kind of wanted to do? You got to come. Yeah, I think. I, well, I know myself personally. Uh, just mentally, just kind of relax a little bit, kind of take in, you know, everything that's happened up to this point so far this season, you know, assess everything so far this season, and really, you know, focus in on, on what we got to do, um, you know, this last month of, of the season and, and, and get ready for it. Last year in November, you guys had a lot of success. This year, you don't necessarily have the same championship possibilities that you had last season. What do you draw on from those experiences last year that you can't carry over this year? Right. I think for us, obviously, last year, November was huge. And, um, you know, we didn't know exactly how it was going to play out, obviously. But, uh, you know, we really came together uh, the entire month and played really well each week. You know, it started off with, with A&M last year. And, obviously, it starts off with A&M this week. So, uh, you know, I, I think you can take a lot, a lot from it, um, from last year's experience. Uh, but, I know, but I know our guys are really excited for it and, and ready for the challenge. How, how important has Luke been going to the offense just in terms of that system on practice? No, booby has been huge for us. Um, obviously, he, you know, he's really young, but he's, he's a really talented football player. And I know, you know, myself, the coaches, everybody, we, we feel really comfortable handing him the ball, you know, along with the rest of those guys. So, uh, you know, he's, he's been really, really huge for us so far. And, uh, you know, he's going to have a great career here. Coach Mal, I've really been around for, you know, a year, one season plus, but Coach Mal's on 7 now after bye weeks uh, here at Auburn. What is it about the bye weeks, just from what you noticed last season and this year, that has maybe changed things for you guys? I mean, I think, uh, like I said earlier, you just kind of get to take a step back, relax a little bit, and just get your, get your minds and your bodies right to – to play and you know in the SEC especially in the West I mean you go you know week in and week out and you're you're playing somebody you know really really good and so you know it kind of takes on it takes a toll on you mentally physically emotionally the whole bit and so you know getting to take a step back and again assess everything and and look at it and you know really get ready for this next you know this next game along with the, the three after that you know it's huge. Do you think your offensive line, I mean, we knew the, the common injuries with Jack Crystal and everybody, but I know they were nicked up, just beat up. How much do you think last week helped them just getting healthy so they can be almost full speed? No, it's it's huge. Again, really for anybody on the team. Um, Nick, Bruce, whatever, injured. I mean, you, you get that extra week to take some time, get extra treatment, you know, do whatever you got to do. Uh, I think it's a it's a huge help for, for whoever it is. You played as a true freshman. Nick Brown is not a true freshman, but a guy that hasn't played football in a couple of years. For an off for him, how important can that be just to take a deep breath like you said, and just go back and watch and work on taking fundamentals, everything that he has to do center? Right. No, I I remember uh, my, my I guess, bye week, my freshman year, it was after, that was the first week I was technically the starter. And so, it kind of happens, you know, really fast. But you know, from a guy that, you know, just come out of high school or, or hasn't played much uh, up to that point, or you know, whatever it is, uh, doesn't have much experience. Um, it, it's huge. You can again look at everything that you've done, maybe good, maybe you've done bad, and you know, really focus on, you know, what do I need to do to uh, to be the best player I can be for this team. What have you seen out of him in this last five or six weeks? No, Nick, he's been awesome. Uh, he's first of all a, a great. Great person to be around, um, very very positive, and you know I've, I have so much confidence in him, really so much confidence in all those guys, and uh, you know he's progressively gotten better each week, and you know like like I said earlier, uh, like with Booby, he's just young, and that experience will really help him uh, mature over time, and you know I have I have no doubts about that. What do you think has allowed Seth Williams to play as well as he has? What is it about? <laughs> Uh, he's a he's a really good athlete and catches the ball. 
what it comes down to for me. Um, no, he's, he's a great, great kid, uh, works really hard, uh, understands, you know, what he's supposed to be doing, and I mean, he's a freak athlete, so just try to uh, try to get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. Did you get to work with him this summer? Like, did he come summer and you know, Yeah, no, I got to work with him a little bit this summer. Um, obviously, back then we didn't really know, you know, especially those guys coming in, we didn't really know where they were going to fit in quite yet. We got to we got to throw to him in the summer, and you could tell, you know, then that he was very capable. So he's it hasn't surprised me. Jared, when you look at these last this last month, uh, do you look at it all from a personal standpoint? What it can mean to your your own future? I I look at it from the perspective of what can it mean for this team. Uh, like I said earlier in the year, I'm not focusing on myself at all. I'm, I'm completely. Devoted to this team right now, and I'm doing everything I can to be the best possible player for this team. When you got a chance to sit back and look at what you, you've done well and what you not haven't done so well, critiquing yourself, what are the, the good things and the things you got to improve on? I think you know the main thing is just execution. Um, just got to execute a lot better. You know, I thought I'd you know done some good things um, throughout the year, done some bad things, but you know I just got to just got to execute better. Sure. Talk about Texas A&M defense. What they're doing better this year? <laughs> well, I, I love I love playing Texas A&M. Obviously, just because it's A&M. Um, but they they've got a lot of guys that are back from last year, obviously, and uh, they've got some experience in some different places, which is which is good, you know, for them. And um, you know, obviously, different coaching staff than last year, and so it's uh, it's going to be a challenge. But you know, we're very excited for the challenge and. Like I said, I, I always love playing Texas A&M. Well, what is that personal motivation for you playing Texas A&M? I just, any Texas team, I love it. Uh, you know, I, did, I didn't go out of there, you know, obviously out of high school. Um, they didn't really recruit me, you know, as hard out of, out of high school because of Kyler Murray. So, um, I don't know, I just like I just like playing Texas A&M. Everybody good? This video was brought to you by Caliber a luxury store in Homewood, Alabama that's reviving the finer things in hunting and fishing.